Hello friends, this is Alina Galia. I'm with Caleb Foundation here in Lezare in Romania and I have the pleasure to have Alex, our friend from Ukraine with us. And I would like to ask him a few questions so you can know him and get to know him even better. So Alex, how did you come to Romania and who did you come with? Um, first of all, thanks for having me here. And um, we came here with uh, families from our church specifically and nearby churches about 80 people uh i i'm just losing counting <laughs> already uh we we came here with our own cars um not really knowing where we we're going where we, we basically didn't know anyone in romania but um we came here and it's been a really good time here a lot of people hosted us and helped us a lot so and we we decided to leave uh on the seven days of war because it's been really a disaster to live mm -hmm. with kids there, meaning uh, every day and night there is an Ill alarm and you have to wake up kids and mm -hmm. put them to the bomb shelter without, without any heating. So mm -hmm. it's been a really, really big problem. Um, and most of our families are, specifically from our church, are with us here. There are just two families who decided they will stay mm -hmm. in, in Cherkasi uh, with their parents, with their grandmothers and uh, grandfathers. But um, yeah, most of our church families, meaning with kids, they are with us here. We are so happy to have you here and uh, at least some of you are safe and we pray that God will help us get over this crisis soon. And uh, I would like to ask you, what are the things that Caleb Foundation can help you with and your mm -hmm. people that are here and also the people that you have a passion to help that are back uh, home mm -hmm. in Ukraine? So um, for, for the families that are staying here, actually Romanians were, were really hospitable and mm -hmm. were able to help a lot. Um, right now everything is covered, people have accommodation, people have food and they are even trying to get back to some of the normal things uh, mm. like for example for example kids are doing some online schooling um, so for for these families who are staying here it's just like minor random needs but they are covered pretty much good uh, by locals so nothing nothing really is needed here uh, i'm trying to organize help for those who are still in ukraine mm -hmm. specifically we have a lot of old people who are staying there in our city and our city actually it's it's a geographical center of ukraine uh which is why there are a lot of people coming from the east for temporary stay uh and churches there and our church are supported them by the accommodation for a night and some food etc because they are kind of escaping from this disaster and also so these we're trying to help those in, in, in our city, specifically with food. Mm -hmm. um, that's why I'm trying to organize here in Romania. And also, there are a lot of uh, refugees who are kind of temporarily uh, or permanently, sorry, staying in our city. They came from the East, but they want to help mm -hmm. the East more, which is why part of the food that we're trying to gather here uh, we want to, to, to give them so they can drive it to Kharkiv, for example, to Sumy or to other cities, uh, the, the hot spots. Mm -hmm. um, those are also Christians, they are also staying with us. Actually, we see that, like, we went out from, from, from our church from, uh, and freed up that space for more people wow. to come from the east. So our church, for example, it's full of wow. people right now. And um, like all of the Christians are collaborating a lot That's so amazing. there and here as well. And mm -hmm. I'm so glad that yeah. that I can see that God's God's work is actually mm -hmm. practical, not mm -hmm. about just words uh, yes, from yes. people. Wow, we're so so thankful that we as Kelly Foundation can help with, and we pray that uh, as many people as can hear this message will contribute to help Alex's people that are here and also mostly the people that are back home in Ukraine that go through this horrible, horrible situation right now. What, how long do you think this will last or what do you think are the, the future steps that we have to take to help people? So at first, as we came here about two weeks ago, I was not able to see longer than a week forward. Mm -hmm. And that was the only thing that's like, we're just doing a day-by-day day thing. 
uh, right now I'm able to see forward for up to a month or even two months um, based on different talks and uh, analytics and what is happening in Ukraine, for, like what I hear from my, my friends, my church, they all are thinking and they agree on the same thing that uh, this war will continue and last for at least a couple more months and maybe longer, um, which is why the, um, like in a state of war, you can't really do work, meaning mm -hmm. there would be uh, less, less jobs, there would be less opportunities to find money, there will be less uh, supplies there, especially for old people and medicine, etc. Meaning prices will definitely get mm -hmm. higher. I mean, it's not only in Ukraine, but in general in the world right now, I see the economy is shaking and the prices are getting higher. So that's, that's why the biggest need as I see uh, for the upcoming months, for sure, would be provide help by like humanitarian aid, specifically food and those essential yeah. needs for the people yeah. staying there. So we, as uh, the foundation here in Oradia, in Romania, we decided to help Alex and all the people that he's going to help with, and we trust him completely. So if you would like to contribute to this, please let us know. It's going to be completely transparent and honest, and we are really blessed to be able to be the hands and feet of God in these times of crisis. We thank you so much. Alex, tell us a little bit about you and your wife and the beautiful daughters that you have. So most of the families that we uh, that came here, um, as, as I mentioned, these families are specifically... Uh, brought here because of kids mm -hmm. and uh, my family I have three girls uh, all of them are young ones meaning seven five and three years old beautiful uh, beautiful girls I have a beautiful wife I have my sister here uh, with her three kids as well the youngest one is one year old and her her husband actually the driver who who actually was already three times in in Ukraine back back to Ukraine to get food and uh, those essentials that we were able to gather here. He's right now in Ukraine and I'm kind of helping here my sister. I have my brother, he's, uh, he's also like replacing my, my, my sister's husband wow. a little bit, uh, kind of helping a lot of other families, they're close, close people to, to me personally. And yeah, we're trying to help them not only with this essential accommodation mm -hmm. and stuff like that, but also emotionally. And I, I receive a lot of help from locals, meaning from, from churches, um, specifically trying to get back to kind of a normal way of life where mm -hmm. people can enjoy just simple moments, uh, staying together. That's, that's kind of it. Yeah, they, they have decided to start the service in Ukrainian. Yeah, right? that's true. That's true. On Thursdays, we'll, we'll try to gather all the Ukrainians who are here. Uh, for Ukrainian um, like church service because on Sundays a lot of people are inviting us to other churches but there is some lack of language yeah. um, and that's that's why we're trying to keep uh, everyone together specifically keep the, keep the community exactly, exactly and the color and the culture that you guys have um, enjoyed before this horrible war started. yeah for sure we like a lot of people here are like was part of the church service in general some of them were responsible for worship some of them were able to preach as well so we are able to set this up hopefully God permits we'll, we'll make this happen thank you so much Alex for being with us and for such a time as this we are called to help so join us in helping Alex and his friends from Ukraine bless you